there's food on the table and so on. And we really want to be involved in this not only to further the Brazilian cause, but also, frankly, to get some level of reward. So what we are working towards in marketplace, and I'm happy to say we are making good progress, is making sure that if you choose to use the Mozilla payment structure or the Mozilla advertising reimbursement rev share structure or whatever we, the things that we put together, that they are the best possible terms that we can come up with in the industry. Now, a lot of that will, of course, depend on how much reach we have, how much commitment we make to getting devices in the market or number of developers or number of users, but we're going to try to do the best we can such that it will be attractive for you and all of the other developer community to, in fact, want to use the Mozilla Marketplace. And we are in a mode where getting 70-30 rev share splits seem to be possible. We're in a mode where we're going to keep the uh, overhead low. We will keep the mechanism by which taxes and all that other stuff is paid as simple. Simple registration for a, a developer so they don't have to go to 15 places if they are distributing uh, their app into 15 different regions and things like that. That's the business slide. That's actually the world that I came out of, or a good part of it. Um, that's going to be the attraction for you or the rest of the uh, developer uh, environment to essentially join us in the marketplace. So what have we got today? So uh, you start out as a developer. You start out as a uh, media owner with DevHub. So DevHub is the site that you will uh, be directed to that says, hey, how do I design? How do I build? How do I publish into the marketplace? Pretty, pretty cool looking site. It's going to be updated continuously. It's really a joint effort across Mozilla to make sure that the latest information in there about how to build an app, the latest information about how to get support, the latest inform uh, information about what the tools, what all those options are, they're all going to be in this one place I call DevHub. It'll probably have a better marketing name at some point, but for right now, that's the name. Inside DevHub, we're going to make sure that the tools exist that, frankly, allow you to not only develop really innovative, to, uh, innovative apps, but also debug them and work them. A couple of tools that are up here on the left-hand side is uh, the remote debugger. On the right-hand side is the OS simulator. Having tools so that you can do a large amount of your development inside the Firefox browser on your desktop is critical. Most people don't do a lot of development on the device itself. They usually do the development then port it over or, or install it on the uh, device and do most of the testing. There's even a neat feature, which I like, called the remote debugger, where you can run the app uh, on, the, uh, on the phone and actually get the debug working on your desktop. So there's a lot of features like that coming. So a couple of tools that are out there, like I said, the remote debugger, the OS simulator, and things like that are already in DevHub. You should go look at them. And there we go. So I thought it'd be at this time a good point to show you some of the tools. Now, aware that my group is mostly an engineering and business group, we're not marketing, so there's not fancy music, there's not all the drums pounding and things like this. This is just a developer tab talking you through the OS simulator. So what you're gonna see here is a gentleman by the name of Bill Walker is gonna walk you through the OS simulator tool, how you can install an app that you have developed, how you can use the OS simulator to test that app, test the boundaries of that app, emulate the hardware, emulate the, the uh, objective software, and so on, and then use it to verify before you publish. So if we could run the video, please. The simulator provides developers with a way to test their apps using the same screen resolution user interface, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript capabilities of the real phone. It comes with the Firefox Marketplace pre-installed, so developers can see the discovery, launch, and install experience just the way their customers see it. It even provides a software simulation of the hardware home button. From this dashboard, 
a developer can install their packaged or hosted app directly into the simulator. The newly installed app is available for immediate use and can be updated at any time. Using the simulator during app development will dramatically improve developer productivity and yield better apps in our marketplace. All the usual Gaia user experience elements behave as they would on the real phone. We expect version 1.0 of the simulator to be ready for developer use by the end of November. Okay, so as you see, the simulator allows you to build the app and build the app. You can use the simulator to test it. Um, as Bill was telling you, essentially the uh, simulator allows you to 